of that. But anyways, let's get some more of this gold. How much do we have? See if we can get a whole stack of the gold here. Wait, how much is gold worth? So right now, 300... So they're 220 for one gold. Well, that's not too bad. And this... This, uh... uh planet is full of this. I mean, if you look out, you can see there's gold there, there's gold there. Gold, I'm guessing that's gold too there. So, I mean, this is just full of gold, which I'm going to have to remember to come back and, and do. And just mine a whole ton of gold and just sell it all. That's fine. It's gonna take a while, so. Oh! There's some dudes. See, what is this? This is another relic. This is crazy. I'm learning words like crazy here. The Gek word for despair. The Gek word for oxidize. And we got another achievement in a milestone. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now I don't know what we just learned. Crap. No, we learned something. Well, it may still even pop up. Gek word for low. And then this I haven't seen before. That's crazy looking. But we'll go ahead and activate this thing here. I see a strange vision of small winged creatures. So here's something that gives me options. Small winged creature lands on the very top of the monolith. Suddenly its eyes glow red. What? Your net hasn't bugged out? It has or ha hasn't? Well, you may have just, uh... You may have just cursed me, man. <laughs> but that's good. That's good that it hasn't disconnected. Uh, it screams for mercy in an ancient voice, and it wants itself dead. The poor animal has clearly broken its neck, but the monolith's power of possession still animates it. I wonder if the right thing would be to shoot it or put it out of its misery. Let the creature... Leave the creature alone or shoot the creature. And in the words over here, it says something, something, Gek first spawned, something, something, destroy. <sighs> what would the Gek want me to do? I kind of want to shoot the creature. The poor winged creature is no more. The monolith rewards my actions. Nice. So because I chose the right thing, it's going to reward me with something. Which is... My standing with the Gek has increased. Health at maximum. And I word I learned the Atlas word for awake, and I get a Gek relic. Holy cow. You jinxed it? Did it really disconnect? No, I don't see it. I don't see it disconnecting. So Gek relic, I haven't got one of these before. They're worth 26,000. Medium value. Curiosity, curiosity. And we learned an atlas word. I haven't seen that before. An atlas word. So I wonder if the atlas itself has its own language too. Man, there's there's so much. Like I said earlier, there's this game is is a thousand miles wide, but very very shallow. There's just so much to do, but yet there's not a lot really surrounding it. That's crazy. Oh, and sometimes it does that, too. I don't understand. All I did was take off like normal, but then sometimes it pops you out of the... Pops you out of the atmosphere. I don't understand why it does that. It's very annoying. I have to go all the way back. That's the monolith we were just at. Okay. Go around this a little bit more here. Try to find... Actually, you know what? The beacon, I think, is where we need to go, because that... I think that's going to give us... You know what? Let's go to the beacon. We can come back to this plane if we want. Um, I think this is where I'm going to get the information about our hyperdrive. 
Plus, because we chose to follow the Atlas's guide, um, this is going to be more of kind of it holding our hand um, kind of along the way, so I should kind of been, have been following what it's been telling me to do. Um, so, if it weren't for that whole first hour being me just wandering around getting the Heridium, then uh, <laughs> it would have been a little bit more to this so far. But this is uh, its a beacon on this planet, which we haven't been to yet. I don't think, yeah. Turn around, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and check this out. Somebody's calling for help or something. Incoming signal beacon transmission detected. Entering the Earth's atmosphere, or the planet's atmosphere, I should say. And because it is procedurally generated, you are going to see stuff kind of pop in and out. Now, this planet looks, yet again, very barren. I like the ones that have a lot of, like, lush grass and colorful, but these all are just very barren. So, weather, emolent, typical sentinels, not, oh, what did it say? I see what it says here. Here we go. Wait, where are we on now? We're on this one. Okay. Flora not present. So, we've got three planets in the connective galaxy. All three planets have no flora. And the fauna is very barren on all three. Oh, no, no, wait. I was looking at the wrong one. You have to... Oh, I, I hate how you have to do that. You have to hold down X to view it. This one had limited flora. And this was the cold one. Crisp. With the rich flora. That's right. So this one's pretty barren. Fauna is barren. No flora present. Sentinel's typical. So it's all just rocks and stuff but we got called to this beacon which is our first beacon here a waypoint interact with it what's it doing incoming signal ah an outpost 23 minutes away all right so we're gonna go ahead and go to the outpost then can't get into that it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in there, but I don't need to worry about that right now. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. Get to that outpost. Off we go. 23 minutes away, but that... Oh, wow, it's a floating thing. I haven't seen one of these before, like, floating like that. That's crazy. Yeah, this is very just rocks and nothing. The flying time is only about 30 seconds here. Yeah, this this galaxy here, I'm not impressed with the connective galaxy. Kind of sucks that this is our first one and this is what we got to deal with. But hey, that's the way it, that's the way it works. It's all random. But you never know. up over the hill to this outpost and the thing is I can't I wish you could fly down easier you can angle down but you can't fly down easier all the time I want to get right on the landing pad I'm actually gonna run into an alien here I hope I have a feeling that this is something here That would have been cool. Alright, buddy, what's up? He's the one that's sending out the little beacon. What do you want? Mining. Mining Overseer. Jine. Current status. Current Gek status. Best friend. Hey, I've got really good status with the Gek. Lone creature awaits me. Diminutive, beaked, unthreatening. Uh, it. Regards me as passing Q 
curiously, chatters briefly in a language I cannot, cannot comprehend, which I don't know any of the words, then passes me a slate. With a start, I realize I can understand the text on it. In disbelief, I try to catch the, cre the creature's eye, but it has already turned away in dis disinterest. I suspect it is a mere courier, not the author of the message. The slate also contains blueprint for technology, a hyperdrive. Yeah, okay, so the hyperdrive is given to you by your first beacon uh, that you have. Instructions on how to build your own path through the stars will be invaluable. So now I have new technology. We need to get that going here as well. We're going to go ahead and... I think we can sell all the stuff in our inventory here. Oh, actually, no. First, I want to see what we need to build the hyperdrive. So the hyperdrive, I need 200 iridium, which I, I wish I hadn't sold all that, and then one dynamic resonator. And to make a dynamic resonator, I think you need to buy one. Let's see. Let's see what it tells me. For sell all items, I want to sell the charm. Wow, those are worth a lot. Gold. Kick relic. Copper we're going to keep. And the bead will sell. Close to 300,000. Very nice. Alright, let's see what it has to buy. I need to buy... One of those suspension fluid I can buy. But I need to buy the other thing. Wait, I need to buy heridium? Ah, oh, it doesn't have any. Crap. I'm gonna have to go find more heridium, and I need to find a what now? Dynamic resonator, craft products in inventory slots, so I can make a dynamic resonator. Resonator. Hmm. I can't make that. Well, looks like we're gonna have to do some more searching. We got an upgrade, the bolt caster clip upgrade. Ammo clip capacity is increased. That's cool. For our hyperdrive technology, I need to build the hyperdrive, and then I need to fuel the hyperdrive. So we'll see if we can get the hyperdrive part done here. Base station detected. Nice. And I've met two aliens. We got a lot of achievements there. New technology, beam coolant. Well, that'll cool off my stuff a little bit more. Very good. Anything around here worth going after? And there was nothing there. There's stuff there, which I can get. That's good. Life support at 25%. What? How is that possible? Well, let's get in the ship and heal up for a second. My life support. Wait a second. I've got to charge that. That's not. There we go. Thrusters are out, so we got to charge that up. Multi tools getting low. Let's go ahead and charge that up. Now let's do a little mining around here, actually, while we're here. Can I build anything as far as for my multi tool? Yeah, the focus beam. Yeah, this will extract things quicker. And then might as well go ahead and do the bolt caster. So that's why you do need to get an upgraded gun because... Nope, oh, that's the bolt caster. Um, just because you need something that has more slots than five. Oh shoot, gotta switch to my guns. I got some guns working now. Nice. See, that's a lot quicker than taking them down with a freaking laser beam. Plasma launcher blueprint. Cool. Are you mad? Yes, you're mad. Nice. 
It's one good good way of getting titanium too. Damage radius, plasma grenades. Okay, that's fine. Switch back to our mining thing here. Do a quick scan. 